Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of Barbie's Broken Dreams. Barbie seems to be settling in okay to living life on her own, childless and single. Despite settling in okay, I do think it is probably weighing on her. I say that just as she starts doing an evil laugh. <laughs> so I think today we're just going to try and right a few wrongs, which isn't really like Barbie. I don't think she intends to be genuine about it, but I think she just wants to try and wiggle her way back into the house. So why don't we start by, well, seeing as you're on the computer anyway, should we see if we can send a little love note to Ken? It's a start, isn't it? Oh, you don't quite have the writing skill required. That's okay, that's what cheats are for. Don't worry, I've got your back. Writing, what should I give her? What, level five maybe? Hopefully five is enough to write a love letter. Can't be any more than that. I mean, anyone can write a love letter. Write love email, there we go. And we will send it to the one and only Ken. Oh, look at that bar. Look how far it's gone down. Cole's still cool with us. For the first time, I'm now thinking maybe life would have been easier if Cole was the father. Easier to win him over. No, don't be thinking about money when you're writing him a love letter. You should be thinking about hearts and roses and shit. Thinking about money. You know what? She really is Barbie, isn't she? I'm quite proud of her, really. She's really, uh, as a sim, she's really embodied Barbie's true personality. Well, my version of Barbie's personality. Okay, no, we don't have time for gaming. You're not going to play Sims Medieval. You've sent a love letter to Ken... I think we should probably try and um, sort things out with Teresa as well. But I don't think she'll appreciate it if we just turn up empty-handed. So let's go to Henford on Bagley and see if we can maybe buy her some flowers or something. Can't even remember if the Crumple Bottom stall lets you buy flowers or whether you have to buy seeds. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Won't we? Uh, let's go to the Gnome's Arms, that way we can stop for a pint or something, can't we? What's the point in travelling somewhere if you can't stop for a cheeky little drink? You need something to give you energy, don't you? In fact, I'm drinking right now. Got myself a uh, strawberry lemonade flavour truly. So, cheers. Oh, there's a fair going on. Not interested. Let's go and buy... Hopefully I can just buy a nice bunch of flowers. What do you think, Aggie? You gonna help me out? Let's see. I can buy individual flowers. Maybe a rose. We'll invite Ken for dinner later and we'll give him a rose. And maybe we can give Teresa a nice tulip. They're not cheap, so... Okay, I've got a couple of flowers in my cart. Four, to be exact. I, I'm baffled as to why I can't buy a whole bunch. That's ridiculous. How can you be selling individual flowers and not be able to sell a bunch? That don't make no sense. Uh, let's just get super quick drink. Favourite drink. Gotta be quick though, Barbs. We've gotta get moving quick stat. Can't even remember what her favourite drink is. I wanna say it's like a purple... Is it the purple cocktail? I can't remember. That bartender's a bit of a show-off, isn't she? What's the favourite drink? Fizzy fruity drink. Very descriptive. Alright, come on, Barbs. Down the hatchet. Come on. Come on. Oh, you finished? Great. Let's go and see Teresa and Cole. Not so much Cole, more so Teresa. In fact, we couldn't give a shit if Cole's there or if he's not. We don't care. Not here for him. Think he's done enough damage. Oh, hey guys. How's it going? We've got the whole family outside. Okay, no pressure then. Okay, where do we even begin? Where do we even begin? Oh, shit. I don't think Teresa is particularly happy to see us. Please don't go in and lock the door. I, I, I come to make peace. I come to make peace. Hello? Someone answer the door. Okay, we're in. Okay, where's Teresa? Oh, she's having to calm herself down in the mirror. Okay, so I'm guessing you haven't forgotten then about what happened. So, I guess there are hard feelings. Let's start with an apology. Um, and then perhaps we'll try... Why are you having a flirty conversation with Cole? No, this isn't about Cole, this is about Teresa. And just, for God's sake, try and be sincere, alright? Don't be sarcastic. I'm sorry that I'm so good in bed that your husband left you on your wedding day to woohoo with me. Don't apologise like that. 
try and be genuine if it's not too much trouble. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought. I think she's forgiven us. Well, let's give her a friendly gift. <laughs> we can give her some washing. Pater we could give her a paternity test certificate just to reassure her. She's got nothing to worry about. And we'll give her a tulip. Oh, she's sad, look. Oh, don't be sad. Super sorry, Trees. Super sorry. Oh, shit. We got a thumbs down. <laughs> oh, no. I think we made it worse. Well, you know what, Barbie? You slept with your best friend's man. I don't think you could have expected to uh, completely have it as water under the bridge on the first time you came round. So you know what? Unappreciated gift. <laughs> so I think probably let's, uh, let's just go home. It's getting on for dinner time anyway. Maybe Ken will come over if we prepare him a nice meal. Stacy can watch the toddlers. I know she's a kid, but, you know, you've got to give kids responsibility. Otherwise, they'll never grow up, will they? So, yeah. The kid can watch the two toddlers. We'll invite Ken over for dinner. Right. I just realised we don't have a dining table. That would have been useful, wouldn't it? Let's invite Ken to hang out. Hopefully he'll say yes. And then we'll go ahead and serve a nice uh, taco casserole. That sounds good to me. Just really want to show that we're sorry. Is he coming over, though? Oh, yeah, he's going to be right over. Great, great. Oh, here he is at the door. Come on in, Ken. Make yourself comfortable. Welcome to my humble abode. He's just not... He's very tense at the moment. Invite to join cooking. Yeah, make it a... a like a couple's activity. Oh, no. Don't put the cross through my face. Don't give up on us, Ken. Oh, he's just in a really shitty mood today. Look, I'm trying to make dinner for us. If you can just take a break from shouting at me, okay? You don't need to come into my place and shout your mouth off, all right? I love you, Ken. I'm trying to make things up to you, but you're being a dick. He refused my offer of inviting him to help cook, so you can wait twice as long for your food now. We could compliment him. We could tell him he looks good today. You know what, Ken? I am really not digging your tone right now. Oh, he didn't mind the compliment, though. He didn't mind the compliment, his appearance. So that's something. I just wish he could talk to us in, in a tone that isn't just mean. Where are you going? Oh, he... <laughs> you couldn't write it, could you? He's that tense that he had to use our bath for a, a, a rose petal bathtub with a face mask. Well, you know what, Ken, if that's going to put a smile on your face and stop you being such a grumpy fucker, then fine. How's that casserole looking? Oh, delish. All right, well, Bobby, you may as well grab a serving. Oh, call to meal. Maybe Ken will get out the bath and... There we go. You can grab a serving as well, Ken. Let me know what you think. It's of uh, excellent quality. Yeah, that's right. Just sit on opposite sides of the room. You can lead the horse to water. Oh, make out. Let's see how he would feel about that. He's thinking about himself. I feel like since they split up, Ken has just got way more empowered. Like, he suddenly has a lot more respect for himself. He used to be a very obedient shell of a man. Now, he's shouting about the shop. He's actually thinking about himself. He's indulging in self-care. Oh, this is terrible. We need to crack that man down, back to a shell. Tis the key to a successful relationship. Kiss. Try and give him a little kiss. Just a little kiss. We could invite him to stay the... N mm, I don't really want to invite him to stay the night, though, if, if he's just going to reject all of our advances. We could ask him for a massage. What do you think, Ken Ken? Oh, he's giving us a massage. Oh, good. Let's take a quick look at his profile. How do we feel about him? Had a child together, boyfriend, Barbie cheated on Ken, lovebirds. Okay, so they haven't actually broken up yet. So, okay, okay. This gives us something to work with. He's getting a little bit flirty. Whisper sweet nothings. Whisper sweet nothings! Sad, why? Oh, she's sad because Ken is sad. Oh, he just rejected her. This is fucking heartbreaking, man. Oh, no. Right, go home then. Fuck off. Get out my house. We'll have to try again another day. 
you know who we could invite over? Let's um, let's get Skipper over here. Maybe she can stay the night with us, make us feel better. Sometimes you just need a girl's night, you know, when you're heartbroken and your boyfriend won't take you back after you cheated on him, like, only four or five times. <sighs> Unreasonable. Skipper is sleeping. Ah, oh, you're on your own tonight then, Barbie. Tell you what. Write one more love email to Ken and then I'll let you get some kip. How about that? We need to do something to sort out this relationship with Ken. They've got kids, you know. You have to try and stay together for the kids. It's the healthiest way of managing a relationship. Even if you hate each other and want to murder each other. Gotta stay together for the kids. I'm joking, by the way. In case you can't tell the sarcasm. Sent a love letter? Good. That pink bar is very slowly but surely going up, so why don't you go get some shut eye? You've earned it. You've earned it. You've had a tough day today, but you've done very well. Well done. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I will. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.